Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a full face of influencer brands. This is an idea that's been on my like to-do list for months to be honest and I'm so 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 excited to be doing it today and if you haven't been here before if this is your first video here hello my name is Angie I'm such a lover of beauty makeup I love everything beauty and makeup related and today we are putting these influencer brands to the test and if you want to see some more makeup videos don't forget to subscribe because I do upload five videos a week. <laughs> This is also an extra exciting video because this video is in collaboration with my dear friend Heather Austin. Me and Heather Austin actually went on vacation together not too long ago. I do have a vlog on my vlog channel where we went to Cancun together and she actually got me these earrings as a birthday gift. So I got these from Heather's. So I thought that the, today would be the perfect opportunity to wear them again. I really do enjoy these earrings. I will leave her video down below. She is an amazing, not only an amazing person, but she's also an amazing YouTuber. She does so many fun reviews, a lot of indie makeup, a lot of colorful stuff. So if you want to see even more videos, don't forget to follow her on YouTube as well because she puts up as many videos as I do, sometimes even more. So if you want to see more makeup, don't forget to follow her. I cannot wait to see what brands she's using. I think we have a lot of similar ones though. This is going to be... This is gonna be me using some of the influencer makeup that I really, really enjoy because there are some things from influencer brands that I am not gonna be using today that I've decluttered, let's be honest. Like, uh, for example, I won't be using the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Concealer or Bronzer. Uh, I won't be using some of the Huda Beauty that I've gotten rid of, but I will be using some things that I really, really love. And I also will be doing a first impression of One Size Beauty by Patrick Star. I've never tried on One Size before, but I really, really like how the Turn Up The Base BBB Cream, this is a beauty blur balm. I like how this was like the sound of this. I like the description of it. I've really been into more somewhat matte makeup lately. I'm like matte skin and I also decided to get the concealer. This is the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I've heard really really good things about this. This one is in light neutral. Light neutral. I did get this one in a medium and I feel like it's gonna... I think you can tell. I did scrub my face a little bit last night and I have not been applying any uh, sunless tanner so I think that this will match this part of my skin hopefully because you can tell I'm darker here. But we'll see. We'll see how this is gonna be. I got this literally, it's still cold from being outside because it's a cold day in Austin today. I have not tried this one out. I haven't even, you can see, opened this one. Oh, the opening of this one is so big. <laughs> That's what he said. But I did not expect it to be like so big. Let me just see how the color is and then we can like wet the sponge. You know what? I think this will be a good color. It's slightly too dark for my cheek right now, but I can tell that it's gonna match this. Okay, okay. High hopes, high hopes for this one. High hopes for this one. Let me wet a sponge and we'll put this one on. I decided to come in a little closer. This, this is not a very runny consistency. It is a little bit more firm, like a moussey, like more gel-like formula, like it's not even though the hole is big, it is not coming out of there. So it's definitely a little bit more of a firmer consistency. I'm just putting it on half my face so we can see how it looks. I've never tried anything from one size before. You're gonna have to let me know if you've tried anything from the brand and how you feel about it. It's not covering up in everything. You can tell that this is more of a medium coverage and it does have a somewhat matte but not flat, like, texture. We're gonna have to see how it looks once it all dries down, but you know what? I kind of like that. And I, the one that's filming this, I have a normal skin type, so I don't mind like uh, matte foundations. I don't mind foundations that are a little bit more on the uh, dewy side either. I will say though, I do have quite some fine lines. I am I've just turned 38, so I will say that if it's too dewy, and if it doesn't set down, it will instead settle in my fine lines. So for that reason, I've been more into the really thin. I really prefer stuff that are a little, little bit more like gel-like or like liquidy, because usually those, those don't settle that much in the fine lines, or something that's a little bit more matte, but not too cakey. But I'm actually... Kind of enjoying how this looks. Huh. I even feel like I probably could have gone a shade darker if you look at my chest. But that looks, I like. 
it. I like how this looks. I will zoom in a little bit and show you once I have the face all in order, but I like it. Let's do the concealer as well. And this one, like I said, I got it in a light with a neutral undertone. I, I will say that the neutral is very yellow. I don't mind that because I have a very hard time getting a pink um, complexion product to work for me. So for me, I don't mind if it's a little if it's a little on the more yellow side, but I will say that I personally, I mean, I can tell that both of these products that was labeled as being neutral are a little bit more on the yellowy side. I still prefer something that is a little lighter in my under eyes. I don't really have a lot of dark circles and I honestly don't, I don't mind if a little bit of like my dark circles peeks through either. I, I feel like it gives you like, face almost a little life even though you might think it's the opposite but sometimes sometimes some makeup makes you so flat and so flawless so you don't even look real and i prefer to look like me with makeup than just like a different person okay this blended out fairly easy i usually put a little bit in the inner part of my eyes as well because i do have uh some like crinkles over there so i like to just even the tone out i think that looks nice it definitely has a very good coverage it's not like a like a instagram coverage but i think it's definitely more than a medium coverage i think that looks really really nice huh i'm impressed and this feels like it's dried down but you can still see that there's a little life in it it's matte but it's not like it's not like a hyper, like a liquid lipstick matte. It's more like a, it's more like a satin velvet matte. I actually do not have a powder for my under eyes. That's from a, a influencer brand. I don't own any of the under eye powders from either One Size Beauty or, oh, I do have that under eye powder from Lunar Beauty. I have the face powder. Wait, let me get that one. I'm lying. I have that one. I have this one, the, the Lunar Beauty a face palette. I have been mixing this one and this one for my under eyes. So let me do that today. And I'm going to use the Jaclyn Cosmetics Illuminating uh, Powder. This one is called the Luminous Powder. I have mine in carrots. I'm going to use that on the rest of my face. I think it's just a beautiful powder and I've been using that one ever since she came up with this one. Do you remember this one? The limited edition. It is literally the best product in her range. And if you like an illuminating powder as much as I do, I really think it's a, such a good product. It is the best product that I think that she has done. And this powder is really nice because it's also matte but not flat. But I like to be matte in my T-zone and then I like to use the glowy powder in the rest of my face let me see if i can find let me use this big brush this is also from lunar beauty lunar beauty's brushes are actually really nice i only have the face brushes because i got it in a mystery box that i bought i got the face brushes but i have really been enjoying uh, the face brushes that i have tried i think they're really really nice so this is the illuminating powder from jacqueline cosmetics and i just think it's such a pretty powder and it just leaves such a nice luminous finish but since it is a powder it like gives you that nice effect of dewy skin without making it too slippy or too oily because for me if i use like an oil primer or something to make my face look a little like dewy it's not gonna last throughout the day and i like wearing my makeup throughout the entire day I know that's not everyone, but like if I'm putting my makeup on, I want it to last for 12 hours. That's just how I feel. Okay, I'm just taking the light down a little bit so you can see how everything looks a little bit more up close. You can see that the powder from Jaclyn Cosmetics is really bringing some of the life back to the matte surface because I have no bronzer, no like highlight and no blush on. This is just like the concealer and the foundation and the two powders and i feel like it's looking like matte but not flat and i don't feel like it's accentuating like texture or anything like that it's settled in a little bit around my smile lines but nothing really horrible it's sitting nice on my nose i feel like overall it's looking it's looking really nice like this is what i like 
from something that's like describe this matte. I want it to be not full coverage. This is a medium. That's really nice. It's not heavy on the skin and it's also not a flat matte. So you know what? And it's, I can touch it. Like there's nothing. I like it. I like it. I really like it. Let me, I'm going to use some brow gel from Huda Beauty. Let me get the light back on. I did get this package today sent to me and I'm filming this after lunch. So I'm going to have to get back to you on like wear time on this and everything because I won't be able to wear it for 12 hours today because I'm actually doing my makeup after lunch. This is one of the best products from Huda Beauty. I love this product. This is the Bomb Brows Full and Fluffy. Look at this little spoolie. So this is for the brows. I've been very much into the Patrick Ta, uh, the like the lamination gel, which is amazing. But this is really, really good. And it's the applicator is so small and it's just so easy to use. I really, really like it. Sweetie cat is playing in my trash this one this little menace she's playing in my trash is that trash on your nose <laughs> she's like no 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 we're not doing that would you like me to do like a full face of a uh, makeup artist own brand because i did get this one as well in my uh, order because i bought these two things from one size and i bought one thing from makeup by mario would you like a full face of makeup artist brands i bought this one from makeup by mario you know the serum serum stick gloss thing because i feel like there's like natasha denona there's makeup by mario pat mcgrath patrick ta like there's so many charlotte tilbury like makeup artist brand Vanessa myricks like let me know are you interested because i could definitely do a full face of that i have so many things in store vive is also an influencer brand that i really really have been enjoying this is the bronzer and this is the medium the only reason why this isn't my absolute absolute fave is that this bronzer color has been especially this one here that's the darker one i tried to go with the lighter one because the darker one has a little bit more of a red undertone this one as well if i'm going to be honest i'm trying to stay clear of that i want something that has more of a neutral or yellow undertone i feel like that looks a little better on me i even prefer like if they're orange rather than like a more cool toned red because red just makes it look like a blush on me and that's not really the look i'm going for when i'm going for bronzers i also don't want them to be cool toned but i really like vive as a brand i think vive makes really good really cool stuff i love the lip liners i love the lipsticks i have one of the blushes here the only thing that i have tried from vive that i wasn't like head over heels with was the pressed highlighter i thought that it was an okay formula but not like amazing enough to warrant the higher price tag but everything else i've really been enjoying so i think that vive is a top-notch brand to be honest i think i'm gonna use this one this one is from jacqueline cosmetics i think i'm gonna do something orange today hear me out hear me out i always talk about how much i love orange makeup but i feel like it's been a while since we really did something orange this one maybe this is a lbf3 now my dog is here too i swear it is a circus look at that I do have this highlighter palette from Huda Beauty. I call it the Huda Jesus palette because... Okay, I really do like this palette. I actually really enjoy this palette, but I think I'm gonna be using this one because it is a little peachy. Are these the ones that have been out of stock for forever? I mean, Lunar Beauty. Lunar Beauty by Manny MUA is also one of my like favorite indie brands. I think he makes such amazing products and it's been a really long time since I used the Mars. Let me see. Do I have this highlighter brush here? So let's do a little Mars on the tippity tops. Honey, I can't play with you right now. I'm Mommy's working. What do you want me to do? Oh my god. Okay. This is the dog. The this is a mess. What do you want me to do? You want some? You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful, but I can't really play with you right now. Ugh. I really like how this is looking, and I hope he's able to restock these soon because they are truly so beautiful. Let's do eyeshadows. I have this one. This is the Candy Skies. This is by Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is her colorful palette that she did with her niece Erin, and I really enjoy this color scheme, and I really did enjoy this palette, and I thought... 
Let's try and do something orange with this and let's see if we can deepen it up a little bit with the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. Like I have this like black here and this like darker one and we can do like a an orangey look but a little darker. Like, right, right? Should we do lips first though? Should we do lips first? I actually have quite a few lip pencils from uh, influencer brands and this is a long hair. I have one of the Jaclyn ones. I like the Jaclyn lip liners. I think they are better than her liquid lipsticks. Her liquid lipsticks are nice, but not my favorite. Then I have the Vive lip liners. Absolutely stunning formula. Love them so much. And I also really, really enjoy the BK Beauty ones, which is Lisa J's makeup brand. I'm so excited. Lisa J, I know you've been asking me, why aren't you meeting up with Lisa? She lives in Austin. We are meeting up. We're meeting up actually next week. We have planned to meet up. So I'm going to be using one of the lip liners from Lisa. I really like, I hope she comes out with even more colors of these. I am going to use the one that's warm spice, which is a little brownie one. I want to do something orange, orange, orange. But you, you sense the theme. I feel like that's really nice. It's like a little bit more of a, like a bricky color. And I want to use this one. I have it here. It's one of the Lunar Beauty glosses and I have been wanting to use this one. This is dreamy. I only like swatched it when I did my Lunar Beauty mystery box, but I haven't been wearing it. Mm. Oh, this smells, these smell dreamy. Oh, he really nailed the, like the smell of his lip products. They are like a homemade cookie in the best way. Okay, I ended up cleaning some eye brushes from BK Beauty. They are one of my favorite synthetic brush companies. I think they make amazing brushes. And if you are more into synthetic brushes, I really think you would be loving uh, BK Beauty. I reach for some of these brushes all the time, especially this one. This has become my favorite BK Beauty brush over time. This is the 203. It is like a pencil brush, but you can see it's longer and a little faster. And it is the perfect brush to buff on edges without any existing product or to blend with like a lighter pastel or something and colorful looks to really buff out the edges because it's firm, but also fluffy. It's amazing. So I am going to start with this one, the darker orange. It is called Roasted Caramel. Mine still smells sweet. This palette, when I got it, this was my first time trying um, Laura Lee Los Angeles. And I will say I was shocked at how nice this palette is. I don't know what I was expecting, but you know me and Laura, we don't have the same, we don't have the same preferences when it comes to makeup. I think Laura makes really beautiful makeup. I think her makeup looks are always nice. I think her makeup looks very nice, like the palette, like the nudie patootie and the liquid lipsticks, but she's more into that neutral look and I'm more into the, I want my makeup to be seen. Not necessarily my face makeup, but my eye makeup, I want it to be seen. These shadows are really nice. I mean, you can tell how blendable and pigmented these shadows are like as they is like as they are right now. Just me putting one shadow on and blending it out. And of course, I mean, she did this uh, in collaboration with her niece, Erin. And I mean, Erin is more into the colorful makeup. She is a teenager. She is living for that like TikTok makeup <laughs> life. So I think that maybe even though Erin was like, what? 17 when they did this collab me and Erin's makeup aesthetics are probably a little bit closer to each other But I only used one color and you can see how beautiful this went on and also of course the brush helped This is the 202. It is such a beautiful crease brush that is tapered Which is great for really getting into the crease and it's also like big enough so that you can blend the bigger area but not too big so that you accidentally get it on your brow because nobody need nobody needs that I think, I think I will be using this peach ring, the lighter one. I think I'm going to be, um, I'll put a little bit, I'll take a little bit with this one and I'll blend that on the edge just to like add a little bit of the pastel. But I think I might be using that a little bit more towards the inner part of the look once we advance. Because I want to switch to the Huda palette now and do something that's a little bit darker. 
And I really hope that she comes up with more like makeup that appeals to me in the future as well. I will say that like blush palette that she did, that one was really pretty. I was very close to actually buying that. And I'm not even the biggest fan of blush palettes, but I just really liked how that like highlighter topper shade went with everything in the palette. I thought that that was actually really nice. And I think Huda Beauty is one of the like original influencer brands, maybe not before Makeup Geek of course, but unfortunately Makeup Geek is closing down at the end of April. But we're gonna use this Jaguar palette. I think we're gonna start with this one and then we're gonna do the black one. And we're just gonna see if we can deepen this up just a little bit. I think I'm gonna use something even smaller. I think that there is something similar to this in the BK Beauty range, but if you could see the mess that is my brushes, I'm so happy you can't actually see the mess that is my brushes because it is a mess with capital letters. I did the same colors under my eyes as well. Just a little bit of the orange and the, the dark burgundy brown from the uh, Wild palette, the Jaguar palette. So I think what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to deepen this up with just a little bit of the black just in the absolute outer part of the corner and outer part of the lid and then we're going to use the shimmery orange from the candy skies palette i feel like something like that just a little bit of a smoky outer corner i know i always do look like this but listen i like it <laughs> i like it okay but then we can do the orange and then we can try and see if we can create a matte pastel orange peach in a corner. That's my goal. I am going to spray this because I'm trying to not get uh, more fallout than I probably already created for myself. Why did I get a spinning chair? <laughs> so I'm going to do that on the lid but not in the inner corner and we're gonna oh, that is so beautiful and we're gonna see if we can try and get some pastel matte in a corner that is really stunning i love combining palettes that are a little bit more of a pastel theming like this one with a palette that has some more depth to it or a palette that's like a lot darker even i just think it's so pretty just using that brush that I used before with the dark color and blending over. Isn't that like so, so pretty? I really like it. Now I'm taking the peach ring, which is that light orange. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. And I'm going to go over this with the matte white as well. So that we can get this to be even more light one. Because there is a matte white in this one. And I feel like it is the perfect shade to mix in to get this to be even lighter. Look at that. I feel like that is just so pretty and have to pay tribute to one of the first influencer owned makeup brands and that is Makeup Geek. Unfortunately, Makeup Geek is closing down, but that doesn't change that the makeup is bomb. And especially this nude eyeliner. It is my nude eyeliner of choice. It is just so beautiful. I love it so much and I'm just so sad to see it go. Check out the site, they're selling out all their product at 40% off. So if you ever wanted to try Makeup Geek, this might be your chance. But yeah, that's what the eye look is gonna look like. So pretty. Oh, let me put on the half lashes by Vive. I have lashes as well. I actually have lashes. No, I don't think I have any Huda lashes left, but I do have Lunar Beauty lashes. But my favorite, look at how used these are. I have used these at least 20 times. These are the Vive, I think they're in Smoky. I'm pretty sure these are the Smoky ones, half lashes. I've used these so much, like, the, these are my favorite lashes right now. Like, I use them in almost every look. Vive have half lashes, 10 out of 10 recommend. I think they're just amazingly good, like, so good. So let me finish this up, and then we can have a final chat about, like, the pros and cons of influencer brands. My hair is in need of some hair oil, <laughs> but we're not gonna pay attention to that. We're not gonna pay attention to that. The look is finished. The look is finished and I will say, I really like the look. It's very neutral for being me. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's how I feel about influencer brands. I know, I know that some people are super against influencer brands, 
personally, I think it's pretty cool because influencers, they know their audience, they probably know the influencer market, like the people around them. So they know how to create a product that is good and that their audience actually wants. Like if you're a good influencer, you know your audience. Usually the products that I try from influencer brand are pretty decent. There's only been a couple of products that hasn't been perfect for me. The concealer by Jaclyn Cosmetics just isn't for me. I personally don't like that concealer. I have tried it again afterwards. I've tried it in different ways. I just can't really seem to make it work. I also didn't love the undertones of the bronzer duos that she came up with, even though I didn't mind the consistency. I think there could be some products from who that I've tried that I didn't love, but overall, here's what I think. I overall like influencer brands if you like the influencer. It also becomes very polarizing when it's an influencer that you don't like. It could turn you totally off a brand if you don't like the influencer. Like me and Jeffree Star, for example. I don't want to support Jeffree Star. I don't want to buy his makeup. So for me, it doesn't matter if the makeup is amazing because it's not an influencer that I'm going to be buying from. And that could be like a problem with influencer brands that even if you love a product, if it's an influencer that you don't want to support, the entire brand is like ruined for you. I also also feel like most influencers there are at the tippity top they're not known for making really out their makeup looks they're not known for loving really colorful stuff so usually stuff that comes from influencer own brands are pretty neutral most of the time i know there are some exceptions huda beauty has done some colorful things lunar beauty is doing some colorful things but all in all i feel like a lot of the things that we are seeing are sometimes a little bit more towards the instagram baddie makeup or the trend that's really popular right now which is what people call clean like the clean makeup look you know the no makeup makeup but actually quite a lot of makeup you know, that kind of a makeup. So not always do you find like colorful eyeshadows. But I mean, there are colorful options like this from, from Laura Lee. And like I said, Luna Beauty has some options. But all in all, usually like the eyeshadows that comes from influencer brands, they're not always that colorful. At least in my, I, in my opinion. Please let me know if there are some exceptions. There are still influencer brands that I would like to try. Like Auric, for example, I'm just waiting for... The perfect storm for me to be able to try the brand let me know which is your favorite like influencer brand is there a brand out there that i am missing out also don't forget to check out heather's video she i am so sure that she's gonna make a bomb look and i do know that we do have some of the similar products like in our in our arsenal so i'm so excited to see what she's doing also don't forget to subscribe before you leave because i will have a video tomorrow as well bye